Welcome back to Leisure and Rec at Home. I once again am Betsy and my helper today is Liam. Liam. So today we're going to be talking about another online website that is really cool and a lot of fun. The site that we're going to be doing today is called JS Puzzles. So if you can look right there, it says JS Puzzles. And what JS Puzzles is, is a online uh, jigsaw puzzle uh, game. So you can do any free jigsaw puzzle that they have on it and they have tons. Now before we begin this, we want to go over what you're going to be learning by using it. So do we have our learning targets for today? Yeah, we do. We do. Okay. So the learning part target for today is today I will manipulate electronic jigsaw puzzle pieces so I can practice using fine motor skills, so using those fingers, to either move the puzzles using your finger, and we're gonna show the example with a finger with our iPad here, but this website can be used on a regular laptop or um, computer, so you can still play it using a mouse or a touchpad, okay? This, you're also going to be learning about problem solving skills. And we'll talk a little bit about that in a moment. You know, I know I got it when I solve an online jigsaw puzzle. So, the first thing you have to do once you get to the website is there is a button right there that says View Gallery, right there. So, Liam's going to press View Gallery. And on the gallery, there are so many different types of puzzles that you can try out. They have all different types. They have buildings, they have um, uh, cities, they have art, they have nature, they have animals. So you get to choose whatever kind you want. So Liam wanted to choose one from the places tab. He wants to pick a picture of New York City. So we have a picture of New York City here. Now you have a few options. One thing you want to do is there's this little thing on the bottom that's talking about competitive mode, you don't really want it to be on competitive mode. So if you see it and there's a list of names next to it, you can just click this, turn it off, and it's just you enjoying the puzzle yourself. Now, the cool thing about this is if you're really good at puzzles, you can have so many different pieces. This can be broken into a lot of pieces. Now, if you're just learning how to do puzzles, you can break this only into nine pieces. So we're gonna have this broken into nine pieces. The other cool thing is you can, whoop, almost lost that there, whoops. Sorry about that. You can also um, pick what kind of puzzle pieces you want. I like this kind that has the round eight uh, holes and I also like how it's kind of outlined. So we're gonna do that one. So all we have to do is we have to press play puzzle. Now, once we get our puzzle, you can change the background of the puzzle. You wanna have like a different background and you can change the size and all that kind of stuff. You also have a little bit of a timer there. So if you wanna compete against yourself and see how fast you can do it. Now, when you're doing puzzles, you're gonna notice that one side is flat sometimes. So though this flat side is gonna to go towards the bottom, where if you see one right, like this one, this one has flat on the side and the bottom. So if we put them together, oh, they lock together. So you just looking for, I like to start with the bottom. Looking for another bottom piece. This one's bottom and side. Just put it, just move it around. And 
Yeah, now I got a whole nother, my whole bottom's done, right? So now I can maybe try the top. So I have a top piece here because it's flat on top. I have another top piece here because it's flat on top, but it's also flat on the side. So, so after you play around and you try to put them together, you are going to then after you finish, so I'm working on this. Liam's gonna help me with a few. Can you put last couple in? So he's gonna arrange them, but you can change whatever kind of puzzle you want. And a lot of times you will hear that click, okay? That click is telling you that you're in the right spot. So once he's done, it tells you that you're done and how long it took you. You can then press continue and then you see that final picture. After that, you can go back to the home page. It's right up here. And that home page will tell you, um, take you back to all those other pictures. So it's really cool. A um, lot of fun to play. Easy to play. You can do it for hours and hours, right? right? And if you get really good at it, then you can make it a little bit harder by adding more pieces. Instead of having nine pieces, you can go up to 12 pieces. You can go up to 200 pieces. So yeah, that's a lot. I know. So that is our uh, activity for today. So I hope you're doing well. And make sure that if you haven't already, the talent show and art gallery pieces are due today. So please get those to me today. Thank you and have a great day.